my beautiful sexy Lexi babes and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to edit using iMovie. I'm just going to be showing you the basics needed known to navigate iMovie. So what you see me doing now is airdropping some videos to my phone and I'm just going to select them all and drag them over here so that I can begin to place them in the right place and edit them. So what I'm going to do is come over to this volume icon and mute all of my videos so that it'll be complete silence because I am going to place some music in the background. So now I'm going to show you how to cut a clip. So what I'm going to do is scroll over to the part that I want to cut and then I'm going to hover over it and hit split clip in case you need to delete um, anything. So here I'm just looking for certain videos that I noticed that were missing that I didn't select and drag over. So um, if you watch my videos and you know, most of the time I start my videos with a TikTok. So I was looking for the TikTok that I recorded for this specific video, how to make the perfect clear lip gloss. Um, so I could go ahead and place that in the beginning of the clip. So right now it looks like the TikTok is um, recorded in the wrong direction. So I need to size it so that it fits the whole screen. And I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can speed a clip up. So I'm going to go ahead and clip the video down to the size that I want it to be. And then I am going to go to the little timer icon and hit fast. And then that way my video will go ahead and speed up. You also get to determine how long you want that clip to show. If you want it to go even faster or even slower. So right now it's showing as 49 seconds. And I want it to be a little shorter than that. So I think I'm going to drag it down to 30 or 20 seconds. So now I'm going to show you how you can zoom in on an object or whatever clip that you really want to zoom in on. So I already split my clip into the clip that I want to use. And then I am going to go ahead and select the crop option and hit crop to fill. 
And then I'm going to zoom it on however close I want it to be. And then when I press play, it'll be zoomed on on that. And now I'm going to show you how you can slow down a video. So it's same as speeding it up. Um, you're going to go ahead and click go to the timer option and then hit slow. And you can drag it to however fast you want it to be or slow or long you want it to be. And then there you have it. Now I'm going to show you how you can get copyright free background music. So I'm just going to go to YouTube and type copyright free background music. And then I'm going to go to um, these like videos that I have because I know for sure that these videos are not copyright. So I have them saved. And then I'm going to find a song that I like. I ended up liking the song Star Eyes. I thought you guys could hear it, so I was letting it play for a little bit, but no. <laughs> so. Um, now I'm going to go to Google and search YouTube converter. Then I'm going to hit the first link YouTube to MP3. I'm going to paste the song that I copied and convert it. And then I'm going to hit download and it'll be in my gallery. And then when I come back to iMovie, it's going to automatically download into audio because it's saved in my playlist now. And then I'm going to drag this song down underneath the clips of the video. And I'm dragging it down far because I also have to add voice recordings as well. So most of the time these songs can be really loud so i like to take the volume of the whole song and break it down to 50 because you don't want the song to be overpowering and overpowering than your voice so now i just air dropped a voice recording for the video that i'm editing and i'm putting it on top of the sound of the song so that's why i said that um you have to bring down that volume of the song way down so you have space to add your voice recording So when you have a voice recording over a song, you need to bring the song down to a one. I know it sounds really, really low, but this volume icon can get really, really loud. So you have to bring that down to a one so that when you're talking, everybody can hear you nice and clearly, but you still have a little bit of background music behind you. So now I'm going to show you how you can add a sound effect to your song, whether you want to turn the pitch up to or down to. Sometimes this helps if you have a song that can be copyrighted and then you turn the pitch up a little or down, you won't get copyrighted because you change the way the song sounds. So that's what I'm doing now. And yeah.
Lastly, I'm going to show you a way that you can close out all of your videos. So we're just going to go to titles and then I'm going to hit the boogie lights and I'm going to type thank you for watching and I'm going to add this to the end of the video. And then when you let it play, it has a special effect and that is that.